a lot happened in Hollywood. While we continued to practice and write more songs as a band, my siblings' careers took off. My sisters booked more jobs and my brother became the top male model in the world. They were constantly working. I didn't get the same opportunities as they did, but I was never jealous. I mean, I really believed my time would come if I put in the work and focused on the band. I had moments of weakness for sure, and I felt like everyone had a second career besides me, but what was I going to do? I mean, okay, there were some pretty dark moments, and I definitely didn't realize it at the time, but looking back, I see I almost lost myself when we moved to LA. And I felt really insecure in general. Before, I was doing so many photo shoots with my friends and constantly creating something. When we moved, I didn't know anyone, and I didn't have room in our apartment to create, so all of that creativity stopped almost instantly. I didn't realize how deeply it had affected me to walk into a modeling agency and have everyone be obsessed with my siblings and for them to be given all these opportunities I wouldn't be given because of my height. Especially when I had more experience in front of the camera than they did. The agency told me I had the perfect model body and that my measurements were perfect but I was too short. The thing is, I had never wanted to be a model and I had never in my life wished I was taller. But I had been manifesting being on the cover of magazines and doing shoots and music for as long as I could remember. I didn't want to be sad about something I couldn't change, so I just shoved it down that it hurt me, did my best to be grateful and focus on the bigger picture. There was also this insane moment the whole family sat me down and threatened to kick me out of the band while we were living in the apartment. because. I wasn't doing enough or something. In all reality, I was sad and confused. And while everyone else was so busy with their own careers, I was just left home to wait until they came back so we could work on the band. There were so many ups and downs. I feel like watching your siblings live parts of the life you always dreamed of is interesting. It's not that I wanted their exact careers because I'd always been more focused on singing. It's just. You know, when I'm watching them get really cool opportunities, grow a genuine fan base, and have financial security, all of that, it kind of pushed me into an uncomfortable and confusing place mentally where, you know, I love them so much. And I'm so happy for them. At the same time, I wish I could have what they have too, you know? Like, all I could do was tell myself, it will be worth it. This is going to be worth it. Just hold on a little bit longer. Meanwhile, so many people kept telling me, you'll be the biggest star. You're the front woman. You'll be the most successful, you know? But I mean, who cares about that kind of thing? It just, it made me feel like, okay, I can do this. I just have to hold on a little bit longer. Anyways, Lucky started a movie and I got to sing two of the songs in it. That's where we got connected to Simon Fuller, who we met while we played music at a La Mer event. We signed with Simon and started to working with Rock Mafia, who we wrote our songs with. Finally, things were coming together. This was huge. This is what I had been sacrificing for. Now, I was busy in the studio, recording, taking vocal lessons. We were having lots more band practices and getting ready for shows. I was working hard. We were all working hard and we were finally able to move into a new house in Glendale that had a pool and tons of space for everybody. Everything was coming together in big ways. Opportunities continued and got bigger. We kept booking magazine shoots for features and covers. We planned more shows and tours. We went to Paris in Milan Fashion Week and walked the runway for Dolce & Gabbana twice. Me included. We traveled all over the world for work and grew a bigger fan base all over the world. We were on the radio a few times and in a few places. We booked the H&M Coachella campaign and got to play both weekends at Coachella, as well as the H&M in Times Square. Dreams were coming true. We put out songs and kept writing more. It was working. We were gonna make it.